Hello and welcome to The Point Podcast. My name is Tim Hayduk, Assistant Athletic Director for Communications here at PLNU. I'm joined by two Sea Lion legends, Courtney Dyer, Lauren O'Malley, just finished up their stellar careers here at Point Loma. Courtney, a two-time PacWest Libero of the Year. She most recently broke the program record for career digs, also holds the program record for service aces in the program's NCAA era. Lauren O'Malley, three-time PacWest Defender of the Year, five-time all PacWest selections, both of those PacWest records. Ladies, it is an honor to have you join us. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, often when someone comes back for a fifth year, it's not necessarily their best season. Uh, when you're grinding for that long in college, you know, there's no guarantee that you're going to have a very successful last season, but both of you came back and continued in to just to build upon the stellar play on the court and on the field. Uh, Courtney, I'll start with you. What, what was your motivation level coming back for a fifth year, but also what enabled you to have so, so much success on the court this year? Yeah, to give a little bit of background, I think through my fifth year decision process of like wanting to come back really stemmed from the community of just our team aspect and still wanting to be immersed into that. And so I just found it super important that I was like, I have one more year um, to impact this program and to also be with my teammates and enjoy just the camaraderie together and everything that just entails being an athlete. And so that was just a big thing for me. And so I think to say that my fifth year was solely based on just like my individual performance would be false because I was playing for those girls alone and they're what fired me up and got me in that gym early in the morning and tireless hours and everything that you put into it as athlete, sweat, tears, all of that, like playing for them was solely the reason for my success, but also just coming back all together for a fifth year. Yeah, I say similarly, just the camaraderie of the girls that we have. Um, I think also there's just such a big potential for this year, which made me super excited and like having the option and the opportunity to come back for an extra year, I just like, couldn't pass that up and I was just excited to have an extra year with just the girls that have been like my closest friends since being here. So. Well and Courtney for you, you came to a program that had been under 500 for a couple seasons but you, you come in, finished over 500 every year culminating this year, uh, 20 wins which is tied for the most in the program since 2013, finished second in the PacWest Conference, its highest finish since joining the conference and the NCAA. When you look back on the five years, what growth have you seen from the program? Mm -hmm. I see growth in just like unity um, and not so much as categorizing one position to owe it all to like statistics and seeing that like historically like sometimes defense doesn't necessarily get the same sort of accolades or recognition and like I think the biggest thing is like not even just this year but uh, prior, prior to these five years just seeing how much like every position is so vital and I think like John has done a great job of really instilling in each position that like the importance and like seeing that wherever you are on the court like you play very much like a soul um, like you're a vital piece in what goes on in those six around the court and like you may be the best hitter but you can't hit without a pass and without a pat like you don't have a setter and all those pieces just so very much laid out together um, make the success of getting above 500 for sure. And so I've just seen a lot of uh, just growth in relationships and just working towards our common goal of just trying to better ourselves and better this program to the end goal of hopefully, you know, next season, then going to postseason and making it to regionals. Like, I pray that for them countless times that they get there, so. Well, and Lauren, for you, your first year was head coach Christy Kiley's first season as well. And what a run uh, you've had in the five years four regional appearances and every year the postseason was held, three PacWest titles. What kept you guys going? What allowed you to su sustain such success those five years? Yeah, I think when I first got here, we worked so much on community with the team. Um, we, like our tagline is kind of like push each other super, super hard on the field and like demand a lot from one another, but also off the field, like being there, shoulder to cry on or celebrate the victories. So I think just like, that overall mentality really just translated onto the field. So, well, and Courtney, I'll go, go back to you. 
in, in terms of just volleyball as a sport in general, what, what are you going to miss the most about competing every day? I think there's a constant theme here, <laughs> Point Loma community. Uh, like I said in my fifth year decision, it's very much like the girls on that court and everyone that I've played up to up until this fifth year point, um, past teammates. Um, I love walking onto the court. Like, I mean, volleyball girls know 5 a.m. practices for spring is just so brutal, but when you have that community that you look forward to working for day in and day out, it makes this quote unquote job of being a student athlete so much easier sometimes when it does look like a job versus a love. And so I just think, you know, I love it as much as the girl next to me. And like Abby Nua has been a huge impact on me for just, you know, reshifting and redefining my love for the sport this season and like being able to like have them rooted in that. And just, it's just community in these people. And so I just, yeah, really thankful for that opportunity. Yeah, what about you, Lauren? What are you going to miss about coming out to the field every day? Yeah, I think I'm just a big competitor. So the competitive aspect of it I'm going to miss, but like Courtney said, the girls are just, it's just been such a joy to like grow with these people and obviously like having certain time with like more, but yeah, like each year you just, each team is so special. So I think I'm just going to miss just the, the newness of it and also just the stability of friendships and growing together. Well, and Lauren, when you look back at the five years, are there a couple moments, maybe one moment, that really just stand out to you in terms of, like, that's that's your favorite memory you'll hold with you? Um, I definitely have a few. I think um, in, I think it was 2019, we beat UCSD. Um, they had taken us out the year before, so that propelled us into the Western um, Championship. Just the celebration of that and to just better ourselves from the year prior um, was a big one and then I think also just this last year um, just so special this group um, like all of us I don't know there's a special connection this year so I think our win against Sonoma just the goal that Mara had just the celebration all of us had was one that I'll never forget. And what about you Courtney obviously finishing your career on such a high note uh, your team and obviously individually doing so great uh, but are there a couple memories for you that stand out above all? Yeah, I definitely think since my freshman year, it's always been a goal in our program to go 3-0 and in Hawaii, and like being able to walk out as a fifth year, knowing that we achieved that goal was just like, I will never forget like the high of that, like beating Chaminade and Hawaii Pacific, Hilo, just like, it's like so cliche, like a dream come true, <laughs> because it's like, you get beat down by these same teams again and again, year in and year out, and it's like, man, like you just want revenge in like a respectful way, and like we did, and so that was really awesome, and I think Another favorite memory, um, I love Halloween practices, like I love, like you see the baseball field, like soccer has their own, like I don't know why, but those are just some of my favorite memories, just seeing like everyone go all out and especially like volleyball, like just, I love just the humor in that and just seeing that everyone kind of uniquely does their own thing, so. Well, and, and your teams will be graduating, obviously, integral pieces of the puzzle and, and both of you, but will also return a lot of players as well. And Corey, you mentioned you know, Abby, freshman of the year in the PacWest Conference this year. Um, you also bring back Tarina Grace, also all PacWest honorees. How confident are you going forward that the program will continue to sustain the success that you've helped build? Yeah, they definitely have a good platform going into next season. Not because it's just the success that you know has been put on paper, but because of what we've worked for in that gym down there. and you know, really worked hard for like our being versatile and flexible this season given our injuries and I think like being able to have so many different facets of lineups has really allowed the team to, you know, expect certain things and to be ready for the unexpected um, events that will happen next season. But I'm very confident for them knowing that, you know, they're only losing one player and that uh, they just have a strong foundation going into next year and uh, given our leadership too uh, with captains, they're going to do just fine. Well, and Lauren, pretty much half your team this year was freshman incoming, which that also, a lot of credit to your leadership to, to still have such a successful season being so new. But obviously they got a lot of experience this year going into the postseason yet again. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you expecting to see from your team going forward? I'm so excited to watch just the growth that they'll have and, and continued success, no doubt. Um, I just, yeah, they're going to do such great things and just the leadership that is on that field 
is just tremendous, like from so many different people in different grades, which is like amazing. So they're all just gonna, I know, just like mesh well together and continue it on. Well, as we talk about the future of your respective programs, also the future for you two, give, give me insight, and Lauren, I'll start with you. What's next? What should we be expecting in the future? That's a great question. I am not quite sure. Um, just finishing out. I'm in the MBA program right now with Quirk, so finishing that out and just see what opportunities um, come from that. So I'm kind of excited just to fully dive into that and see what comes from it. So, yes. And Courtney, same for you. <laughs> yeah, um, future goals as of right now, just finish up the MBA program strong. Um, and then hopefully coaching a little bit of beach volleyball in the future and law school right after MBA. So, so yeah. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. It's been so fun watching you both in your respective sports. And uh, you've made it, you can't even describe the impact that you've both had on this campus and on your teams. And uh, we wish you nothing but the best going forward. And Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Jim. <laughs>